Hey guys, this is Tech Ed Kirsch. If you're a junior or not as experienced hardware design engineer, then it can get really annoying and slow if you don't know how to optimally move your components on your PCB. So in this video, I'll show you how to move your components on your PCB in many different ways that will speed up your workflow in Altium Designer 25. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is split screens or you can move your PCB document to your other monitor if you're using dual monitors. I can't record dual monitors, so I'm gonna do split screen. Your tabs are gonna be tabbed, like your documents are gonna be tabbed like this. What you wanna do is click on any one of your documents for your schematic or PCB, then you right click on the PCB, then choose split vertical with it being on the right already. That's kinda of how you wanna do it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to select all of your components and place them in a specific room. This is useful if you need to place all of your power chips and their decoupling capacitors, their bypass capacitors or whatever in your or resistor voltage divider like these right here, this circuit, if you need to play this in one room. So what you do is go to your schematic sheet, then from left to right, click and drag and select all of your components. Make sure they're fully enclosed, all right, in your selection. When you do that, if you look on the Altium Designer canvas on the right, I'm using my middle mouse button and holding that and scrolling up or moving my mouse up to zoom in there, you get all of these components selected. You can right mouse button and pan your PCB layout without fear of them being deselected, okay. Once these are highlighted, you go to your PCB document tab and click that just to make sure, then go to tools, component placement, arrange within room. Look at the bottom bar, it tells you what to do. It says select a room. So what you wanna do is zoom out, move over to where your room is using the right mouse button, and then just click on this room. This is a room that's defined here, but we'll click on it and our components get placed in the room. Great, so that's one way to place groups of components. Now, what if you don't have rooms defined, but you know you want to place your components in specific areas, like you want your PCB voltage regulation section in the upper left corner? Don't worry, I got you. So the next thing you wanna do is go to your schematic, click, drag from the left to the right again for some area, some circuit that you want, all of your components are selected on the PCB. Next, what you do is go to your tools area or tools menu bar. And notice I selected tools on the schematic side. You don't wanna do that, okay? You wanna click on your PCB document. Then your menu changes. Then go to tools, and now you have a different menu specific to PCB layout. Click component placement. Then you can select arrange within rectangle. You click that, then again, when you're in this mode, you wanna check the bar at the bottom of the screen. It says, choose first corner. Okay, I'm gonna use my right mouse button to move over there, hold on the control key and scroll up to zoom in. Then click once, and now you started a rectangle. Make the rectangle whatever size you want. I'll right mouse button to pan this thing and drag. Don't release the right mouse button because if you click, if you just right mouse button and release, it's going to undo your thing. What you wanna do is go back to tools, component placement, arrange within rectangle, and you can pan and hold down that right mouse button. When you do release, you'll still be in the mode you wanna be, okay? That's a quick little tip. So we're gonna follow the instructions. Choose first corner, click and release that, your rectangle starts, then you click to end that corner and all of your components automatically get placed. All right, we're gonna do that again. Choose first corner and boom, your components get placed exactly where they're supposed to be. We'll do this a few more times just to get the hang of it. All right, now let's right click and get out of that mode and it places your components. Easy, they've been placed out of the room. All right, so we need to reposition our components. Say I want to place my capacitors real close to my power chip, okay, my LDO regulator, whatever, the, it's this little buck converter here, and then place this other capacitor like right on the pin there, as you typically would do. 
but I want to make sure that I'm selecting the right capacitors and the correct pins and all that. So how do I do that? Well, instead of using the schematic kind of as a visual guide to guess and eyeball this thing, what you want to do is select from the schematic. To do that, click on your schematic and you want to select your components in the order you want to place them. Hold down the shift key, select your C3, for example, then your C4. Then you know you want to place them close to your U1 chip pins to that PVIN or PVN. So we're going to hold down the shift key still, select U1. Now, I only care about placing these for now. What I can do is go click on my PCB document, choose Tools, Component Placement, Reposition Selected Components. Now, here's the key difference here. Here's the key thing. It will start repositioning your components based on the order you selected them. All right. So now I have my C3 selected. Okay. So I'm going to place that. Now my C4 is selected in the queue. Rotate this with the space bar. I place that maybe over here. All right. And then my chip, I can rotate this the way I need it to, to make sure that my capacitors are placed as close as possible on these pins for the chip. So that's one way to reposition your components and make sure they're placed very neatly and exactly where you want them after they're placed in a group. Let me show you another technique. So on the schematic side, I want to select these components, right? This L1, R2, C5, and C6. So I would select all of these components at once they get highlighted and then it zooms to show me where they all are. Then if I don't really care which order I selected them, selected them in, that's fine. I can just go to my PCB document tab, go to tools, component placement, and reposition those selected components. And I can zoom in, right? And let's say I just want to drop them in somewhere like around here, R4, place R2 there or something, my inductor somewhere. And I don't really care where it is. I just want to place them like out of the way, selecting them all at once. And then doing my select PCB components option is a way to do that. Here I can click my RJ1. I'll just right click part actions, choose select PCB components. Now it's selected. It didn't really need to do all that extra stuff. But what the difference is here, when you choose select PCB components, it makes the PCB dock active. Whereas before, if I just selected a component, my schematic document would still be active and not my PCB dock. I would have to go and select my PCB document to make it active and then go to tools. Instead, what I do here is I select my, I selected my components there hold down the shift key to include RJ1 this time. I can go to tools or right click either one, then select PCB components. What that does is it makes the PCB document tab active. It makes it active. Then I can immediately go to my tools menu, component placement, reposition selected components. Okay, so that's another way to do that. Now there's one more thing I want to show you. How can you select components on your schematic and immediately start rotating them, placing them on your PCB? Well, there's this nifty little feature that lets you do this in two ways. And by the way, if you're excited about being able to use Altium and how meticulous the team is at making sure you can do PCB layout and schematic capture in all the best ways, all the most efficient ways possible, then you might want to download the free trial. If you get the free trial, get it from the link below because you get an extra benefit should you decide to buy the software. Okay. So don't go to the Altium website, use this link, get the free trial Altium plus free Altium 365 for cloud-based whatever stuff you're doing. If you're uploading designs from KiCad or CAD, Fusion 360, Altium, yeah, it handles all of them. Uh, file versioning, all that stuff, right? So take advantage of that. Then if you decide to buy Altium, try it out, 
after the free trial, you get a discount. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the fastest way to reposition your component. Go to your tools menu on the schematic side. So you click on the schematic side, go to tools. Make sure you're in cross select mode. Okay, then in cross select mode, you click one of your components, the C3, for example, right? It's selected and highlighted on your PCB. Your schematic sheet is still active. You can go to your PCB document, click tools, component placement, reposition selected components. That's too many clicks for my taste. Instead, let's customize the menu bar so your reposition selected components is right here and easy to access with all that clicking. So you can click on the C3, right? Go to your PCB document tab and select that button. It's got no icon. And then it allows you to reposition C3 just like that in one click. So to do that, you would right click on your menu bar, choose customize. The customizing PCB editor window pops up. You wanna scroll down to component placement, not place, cause that's easy to uh, get mixed up on. You want to choose component placement, then enter the commands window, select reposition selected components. Now you can drag this up to your menu bar right here. See where it has dimensions, keep out all that stuff? That becomes active. And then it shows you this little bar here where you can drop it in there. And there you go, you're done. Okay. I'm just going to right click and go ahead and delete that because I already have it, hit click close. And what happens is it shows up, it appears in your quick access toolbar with no icon. Now, when I select on C3, C4, whatever on my schematic, it gets highlighted because I am in cross select mode, then I can just, I don't even have to click the PCB dock, I can just hit that shortcut and it selects it. Now, as a reminder, let's say I want to select all my components and know what I'm working with up front and reposition them. I can select all of my components. Then I can just click on my sequentially reposition selected components icon, right? And then move around and now I can just start placing my components. But if I don't care about the order they're selected and I can just go ahead and place them in the way that I want to, kind of eyeballing what's on the screen on the left side, I can do that. I don't like that as much. All right, there is a third final way that is the fastest way, but not necessarily one you always want to use. This method allows you to select a component and it immediately starts rotating, so you don't even have to press the button. So I'm gonna show you that method right now. To set that up, go to your preferences gear icon. So that's in your system preferences, that's that icon in the upper right, select it. Then under system, select navigation. Now you can set how close and far you can zoom and all that stuff, but you wanna go down to the cross select mode. Then choose whether you want to dim, zoom and all that in cross selection. Here we want to select the reposition selected component in PCB once we're in cross select mode and we select a component and it has a hotkey, control shift Y. Let's go ahead and click apply, then click okay. What this does is it lets us select a component and immediately we start to reposition it on the PCB. So now I can go through my schematic, select a component, and right there I can place it exactly the way I want to. Click R1, immediately placing it the way I want to. I can rotate it, all that good stuff, okay? The only drawback with this approach is if you select multiple components, yeah, you do get to start placing them immediately without having to click on the document tab, but it's kind of random. I don't know what order they're using to like select the components before you place them, but maybe I don't want to place my R's first or my C's first. So I'm not sure how to fix that, but there you go. Okay. It's better than it's better than nothing. Now you know like a million different ways to place your components. You learned how to place them in a room, how to place them in some box, some arbitrary box area on your, on your PCB. You know how to select all your components, then start repositioning them one by one, how to select your components in a group, 
and to place them and reposition them on their own somewhere else out the way. And finally, the fastest way to immediately place and reposition your components the moment you select them on your schematic canvas. By the way, if you want my component placement guide, because there are many different ways you can place your components, but there is a way that always works for PCB layout, you wanna click the link in the description below where there might be a video where I explain optimal component placement and the guide or PDF that explains good component placement. All of this is found inside of my PCB Design Foundations course where you can enroll and learn how to design PCBs professionally from start to finish, IPC standards or DFX, all the issues in electromagnetic compatibility all signal integrity issues you're going to encounter, or at least all the core nine ones, and multiple projects that you can add to your design portfolio as a PCB designer and get hired and to get promotions, get bigger gigs and not just lowly work, okay?